every eigenvalue has infinitely many eigenvectors, but only a finite number of independent eigenvectors. This number is called the geometric multiplicity of an eigenvalue, and in this video we'll see how we can find it. Uh, suppose A is a square matrix, an n times n matrix, uh, lambda is an eigenvalue, then every, uh, this every eigenvalue lambda has infinitely many eigenvectors. Now why is that? Well, suppose you have a times v equals lambda times v, then you can multiply with any scalar, but you cannot take, don't take zero here, so c times a times v equals c times lambda times v. Then you can take the c in here and here, and you get a times c times v equals lambda times c times v. So the vector c times v is also an eigenvector of the matrix A. So if you have an eigenvector, any multiple will be immediately an eigenvector as well. So that's why you have infinitely many eigenvectors. They are all multiples, of course, so they are not independent. Uh, and you can have only finitely uh, many independent eigenvectors. If you have an n by n matrix, uh, your vectors will have n components. They will be in Rn, and in Rn you have only uh, n independent eigenvectors, n independent vectors. So in particular, an n by n matrix has as most n independent eigenvectors. Uh, the uh, geometric multiplicity now, now of an eigenvalue lambda is the number of independent eigenvectors uh, of lambda. So lambda is infinitely many eigenvectors, but the number of independent eigenvectors, that's called the geometric multiplicity. Well, this number is equal to the number of factors in a basis for a lambda, because the factors in a basis are automatically independent, and the number of factors in a basis of a subspace has its own name, and it's called the dimension of e lambda. So uh, the geometric multiplicity of an eigenvector equals the dimension of e lambda, and the idea is that this number is equal to the number of in independent eigenvectors for an eigenvalue lambda. So let's look at a small example. We've seen this one before. Matrix A lambda equals 2 was an eigenvalue. We found two independent eigenvectors, v1 and v2 previously. So we knew that the uh, Eigenspace equals the span of v1 and v2, and a basis for a lambda equals 2 equals the set consisting of v1 and v2. So uh, the dimension of this eigenspace equals 2, because there are two vectors in the basis. So that means that the, in this case the geometric multiplicity of lambda equals 2 uh, is equal to 2. So as you see, uh, if you have learned to compute eigenvalues and to compute the eigenspace, finding the Geometric multiplicity is not difficult at all, it's just the number of factors in a basis for your eigenspace.